Hey everyone, in this tutorial, let me show you how to become a robot. This is a much less complex method of achieving this sort of cool effect than any 3D software method, so let's dive in. We start with a shot of a woman walking towards the camera. She already has a bit of a cyber look which works perfectly for what we're going for. First, I pick a frame where the robot transformation will happen. Right around here. I blade cut the footage at this point. Next, I export that frame as a still image. Let's rename it and make sure it's saved as a Photoshop file. I apply M Tracker surface to the transition section of the footage. I change the setting mode to mesh mode and then select the surface area around her face. And now I'm gonna track it. And we can see it's tracking nicely. In Photoshop, I've got the still frame ready. I also pre-designed some shapes that will act as the face segments opening up. To get a clean, symmetrical and interesting pieces, I used the shape tool and a few preset designs. Using the magic wand tool, I select one of the shapes and drag it beneath the still image layer. Then I create a new layer via cut. I repeat this process for each shape. And now we can see our cutout pieces of the robot face. For the cheekbones, I cut them out manually since they're not symmetrical. And again, I use a new layer to separate them. At this point, all the individual places segments are ready. I've already prepared a robot face in another project, so I import that beneath the face cutouts and adjust its position. I'm gonna go for a darker, more metallic look for the robot base. Since the edges of the cutouts are a bit too sharp, I go in and soften them slightly. I'm gently blurring the edges of these layers so they fit better with the footage later on. I also separate a skin surface layer to sit on top and blur its edges to make the transition smoother. Now that everything is in place, I export each face segment individually as PNG files. Each layer needs to be exported separately. That's very important. Back in Final Cut Pro, I've got a compound clip set up with all the robot face layers stacked on top. Everything lines up nicely. For the eye and mouth pieces, I trim them down. We're gonna animate them disappearing in a slightly different way. Then I start keyframing the movement for each piece. You can do this however best fits your own project style. Once that's done, I drop the compound clip into the drop zone in my main timeline. From here, it's all about aligning the robot face with the original footage. Remember to change the effect to track. I tweak the scale, pan and adjust opacity to check if the eyes and mouth line up correctly. That kind of lets you know if you're doing it right. Don't get discouraged too fast, once your robot face fits, it's going to look amazing and super satisfying. After some trial and error, everything matches perfectly. It takes a bit of time, but it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it. Now, let's move into the second stage of the effect, adding some awesome robot VFX. You can definitely customize this however you like, but I'm going to walk you through one possible approach to get you started. Earlier, I mentioned wanting a different transition for the eye and mouth pieces. So for those, let's grab a transition called Pixelate. I'll apply it to one of the eye layers, disable the animation in setting, select the mask video option, and tweak the parameters a little bit. I'm just improvising here, seeing what looks best. Now you can see the eye disappear with a cool glitchy pixelated effect. I want it to move a little bit faster, so I'll bring the keyframes closer together and shorten the layer duration. Then I'm gonna repeat that process for the other eye, just copy and paste the effect, and same goes for the mouthpiece. And there you have it. The eyes and mouth now have a different style of transition than the cheekbones, which has some nice visual variety. Next, you can see I added an adjustment layer above the robot face, and I drop another Emroto element called Current Flux. This is gonna add a glitchy electrical distortion across the face. Just a subtle detail, but it really helps sell the effect. Feel free to adjust the setting to your liking. Change the color, the size of the electrical bursts, whatever fits your vision. I'm just improvising here. Now let's take it a step further by using this digital looking selection tool from M-Extension to create some dynamic robot eyes. You can tweak the colors, the size and position of the orbs. And don't forget to add a bit of glow for extra impact. And now my favorite part, we're gonna make those eyes look alive with some lights using M-Flare. 
I'm gonna go with the alien laser beam preset. Position the flares, track them with the movement, and repeat the process for the other eye. Don't forget you can fully customize the size and style of your light, increase and decrease the reflections and a number of other options that will make the design completely yours. To wrap things up and make it feel more cinematic, I'll drop an M-Film look to give everything a cool bluish sci-fi tone. Let's pick a great preset to get started with. We're gonna adjust the temperature, add some lens blur, and of course motion blur so all your pieces move more naturally. Let's not forget some cinematic grain. Maybe a vignette. At the end of the day, it's all up to you how you want it to look. And finally, let's throw in a widescreen look. Let's not forget the sound design. When we add some robot sound effects, it's really gonna take it to the next level. And that's it, your own robot face transition. No fancy 3D software needed, just a few simple tools and your creativity. This was just one way to do it, feel free to experiment and make it your own. Make sure you follow us on all of our channels for more tutorials like this. I'll see you next time.